Estimating an underlying mesh from a sparse and noisy point cloud requires additional priors. Traditional mesh reconstruction approaches use hand-coded priors like smoothness, but introduce a trade-off between overly smooth and still noisy. Existing deep learning approaches learn priors at the object level and produce plausible results in the presence of noise and sparsity. However, they fail to generalize when the point cloud is in a pose different from the one used in training. They also fail to generalize to unseen categories. Instead of learning priors at the object level, we propose to learn them locally. We introduce meshlets, small patches of mesh that capture local features like corners or edges. Although meshlets learn priors locally, different poses may make training inefficient. To disentangle the pose in the shape of our meshlets, we learn them in a canonical pose. To fit a point cloud, our approach takes a set of meshlets and adapts them while maintaining consistency in the overlapping regions. The final mesh is the union of these meshlets. We learn the local shape priors with meshlets using a variational autoencoder and a very large dataset of meshlets extracted from the objects in the ShapeNet dataset. At inference time, to fit a meshlet to a local point cloud, we simply fix the network weights and traverse the learned latent space to find the best match. Here, we compare our approach to others for the task of fitting a 3D mesh patch to a local point cloud. For a point cloud larger than the extent of a single meshlet, we propose a mesh deformation scheme. First, we initialize an auxiliary mesh and sample meshlets on it. The meshlets are consistent in the overlapping regions by construction. Next, we'd update the meshlets to better match the observed points. This is done by computing the error gradients on the surface of the mesh, by passing those gradients to the corresponding meshlet vertices, and by updating them. Since we update these meshlets independently of each other, they might become inconsistent in the overlapping region. To address this, we have a third step that adapts the meshlets and the auxiliary mesh and enforces consistency. We then iterate. Here we show some results of our framework.